I think I was actually stalking Daniel for a few years, particularly when he did his four Rachmaninoff concerti with the Paganini variation. Well, you know, it was a more or less spontaneous idea, I guess. The Trout is one of the great pieces in the repertoire, and Schubert sadly has written very little for the violin. But The Trout also gave a possibility not only to work with Daniel, but also to include a few of my wonderful colleagues, which have gone through um, the tutoring of my foundation. Maximian Hornung, a fantastic German cellist. Also Roman Patkolo, the bass player. And then we have Vion Lee, viola player from Korea. It's great to have many viewpoints, many different cultural uh, roots coming together in this collaboration. To me, the music of Schubert has been one of the most uh, significant um, achievements in, in classical music. Of when I first uh, learned that Anna Sophie uh, wanted to record uh, this music, I was uh, incredibly happy. I hope you still are. <laughs> <laughs> From my perspective as a, as a violinist, it always seems it's particularly difficult to find a symbiotic level of sound um, space between the piano and the violin. I've always enjoyed chamber music, but I do enjoy it more and more because it's much more intimate and much more spontaneous way. And isn't it when we played the trout now a few times and it was always different? I mean, that's great fun. And yeah, with an orchestra, it's not that easy to be that fast and, you mm. know. And yeah, perhaps because uh, when, when it's in chamber music setting, there is um, much more level of intimacy and uh, transparency. Mm -hmm. And so that allows for uh, so much more solutions. Yep. The trout, every time we played it, every time we played it for the recording, for the rehearsals, for the concerts, we have so many details. And it's wonderful to be able to do that even after discussing everything. The discussion hasn't ended. Because about the same subject, a few hours later, you've come to totally different solutions, but only with musicians who are free, who are free to make music. But I think also the more, uh, more there is uh, performing um, more, more there is playing together, the more, uh, more of these possibilities uh, open up. As uh, mm -hmm. there, uh, every time something different happens, yep. and that expands certain awareness of what's possible. Yeah. And then you actually become more comfortable with uh, with uh, the interpretation which um, reveal itself uh, in the moment. Mm -hmm.
chamber music is the most private if you look at the late string quartets of, of Beethoven. The greatest pieces in music history have been written for either piano solo or for, for a chamber group. Mm -hmm. And the private music is the one which is the most emotional. And emotions don't run in pale grey. <laughs> Thank you. 